I hope you'll subscribe to this channel where I just teach the Bible. Hit the bell so you get notified every time I put something out. I do several things a day. Make comments. Help me get this out to more and more people. I met Russ Short the first day of Bible college in August of 1973. And he became my dear, dear friend. We graduated together in 1976 with degrees in what was then known as preaching ministries. They were trained us to be preachers. I was 27 years old. Russ was 37 years old at graduation. He was 10 years older than me. Now, Russ had lived, I had lived a wild life too, but Russ had lived a wild, wild life before, before coming to Christ, and he'd been through a divorce. Uh, though the divorce was way before he became a Christian, Still, no churches would hire him as their preacher, and he was very disappointed by that. For the rest of Russ's life, he served as a volunteer in a church, expressing his faith. He did things like he came to the hospital to stay with me while we were both students. In 1974, when my wife had surgery, he stayed with me. He prayed with me. He loved us. A couple of times a year, he would show up at, at when I, during the years I was preaching, until, until he passed away, he would show up to hear me preach. You know, I knew he loved me and loved my family, and I loved him. He endured through the disappointment of not getting a ministry and was faithful to Jesus. He showed faith, love, and endurance, all inspired by hope in Christ. He bore the authentic marks of a disciple of Jesus. Russ brings to mind 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 2 and 3, great passage of Scripture. We always thank God for all of you mentioning you in our prayers. We continually remember before our God and Father your work produced by faith, your labor prompted by love, and your endurance inspired by hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. thought about Russ today, remembered him in my prayers. And I thank God for my, for my dear friend, Russ. I'm thankful for Russ's work for God that was, that was driven by his faith. And I'm grateful to God for Russ's labor that was prompted by his love for Jesus as his Lord. And I thank God for the endurance Russ showed in his life that was inspired by his hope and his confidence in Jesus. Russ's faith, love, and endurance calls me and calls all of us to be faithful, to be filled with love, and to be running over with endurance. I think Russ went home to be with the Lord in 1989 when he was 50, and I was 40. I was trying to remember exactly when that happened, but I think that's right. And um, what endures in my memory is real simple. His faith, his love, his endurance, his authentic marks of being touched by the hand of God. It's a great example for us. Such examples call us to faith, love, and endurance. Go there. I'll talk to you soon.